Hey everyone, this is Jonathan Williams with Black Public Media. I'm a virtual reality editor, producer, and developer, and VR has given me the chance to work with some awesome companies, celebrities, and travel the world. As a nascent industry, there's so much opportunity in the XR space, and I hope these tutorials help you find some. Today, we're going to be talking about proxies, codecs, resolution, and bitrate. First, we'll talk about the use of proxy footage for your project. So some people may ask, what are proxies? Proxies are basically replacement footage to make it easier for your computer to render while editing. For example, if we're working with 8K files and the computer is struggling to load a preview, we may load in 4K proxy footage in order to help the computer render faster previews with less or no lag. To begin, we check out proxy settings. File, project settings, ingest settings, and then ingest and create proxy. Then we'll create a proxy. In project window, you'll click find footage, proxy, and then create proxy. And in format, you'll wanna click QuickTime, 2K Cineform Monoproxy. Media Encoder will now create a proxy file for you to edit off of. With large footage, this can take a while. Okay, so once rendering is complete, it will automatically replace your footage with the proxy files you just created. Next, we'll talk quickly about frame rate. Frame rate, the frequency at which frames in a television picture, film, or video sequence are displayed. The frame rate is the number of frames that occur in a second. Common frame rates are 30 or 60, and sometimes 24 or even 12 if we're dealing with animation. With 360, a high frame rate can really immerse the viewer, so if you have the opportunity to shoot at a higher frame rate, I often recommend it. Frame rate and resolution are often connected for a higher frame rate, you may be forced to use a lower resolution. Decide what's more important to the story. If your film is relatively slow paced, choose resolution. If it is brimming with movement, then maybe you want a higher frame rate in order to capture all the motion and give yourself more options in post. Codex resolution and bitrate. The Oculus Quest, Go, YouTube, and proprietary apps will all have a unique best setting. Each platform's website will have information on their best specs. Because it is quickly becoming the standard in VR, I will list the best settings to view your video on the Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2. Resolution the display resolution or display modes of a digital television, computer monitor, or display device is the number of distinct pixels in each dimension that can be displayed. Codec, a device or computer system that can digitize and often compress an audio or video signal for transmission. Your render codec will oftentimes depend on where your file will live. VR360 deals with numerous codecs, whether they be MP4, H.264, H.265, Cineform, or ProRes. Some of these file types produce massive files, but preserve the most information and give the best quality. Knowing where your piece will live helps you dictate what you'll need. Certain file types can't be read by certain programs, but .mp4 is the most universal and can be read by most apps or programs. The bitrate will dictate your refresh rate. Bitrate. Video bitrate defines video data transferred at any given time. A high bitrate is doubtlessly one of the most crucial factors in the quality of a video. Together with a satisfactory bitrate value, high resolution and frame rate contribute to a good looking video. In general, a higher bitrate will accommodate higher image quality in the video output. At the same bitrate, video on a newer codec such as H.264 will look substantially better than an older codec like .mpg. 
Well guys, that's it for today. Just as a recap, we covered codecs, resolution, and proxies. Next time, we'll be learning about 360 editing with monoscopic and stereoscopic footage, as well as export settings.